guys, Abby here and welcome to my October TBR. How cute is this jumper? No, you hang up. Love it. Anyway, this month is going to be a little bit different. I'm still going to be playing my board game. However, I'm also going to be playing Spookopoly this year. I'm so buzzing. Uh, however, I'm going to do it throughout the month, the way you're supposed to play the game. Um, but I also still want to play my TBR game as well. So I put all the Spookopoly prompts onto um, a spinner wheel and that's the prompts I'm going to use for this. Obviously, I still have my other prompts for during the month if I get a... I can't remember what the thing's called, a chance card, and then I have to do different prompts. So I'll use that for that. I have mustered up a big pile I'm going to turn it around for you. Not these bottom two, these bottom two I've read. Um, but the rest of them is like potential October books that I'm hoping to get onto the TBR. Um, however, if anyone knows where I can get a hold of the X Hex, that would be really helpful because I've got the Kiss Curse and I can't get the X Hex anywhere. Um, I might have to get it off Waterstones and I really don't want to spend that money. But I couldn't get it off Amazon because it's sold out and I couldn't find it in the works. So if anyone can help, that would be great because I'd like to read that there so that I can read The Kiss Curse. September is currently still September. It's the 22nd of September. So I've still got eight days left. Tomorrow's my birthday though. So I don't know how much reading I'll do because I'm working and then I have plans. Um, however, I maybe could get through two books on my tbr which then i think leaves me with only one book unread on my tbr so that would be good um however i'll do two spins extra spins just in case i don't get through one of them because i also have a massive pile of books for videos that i need to read as well so i'll give myself two extra spins so that'll leave us with seven spins today um, books I read this month I can remember off the top of my head. So, I read Lessons in Chemistry and I absolutely adore this book. This is going to be in a video so I'm going to leave my thoughts there. I'm pretty sure I gave this 3.5, 3.75, really enjoyed it, maybe even a 4, I'm sure I'll put on screen what I gave it. <laughs> I don't have any other books on hand that I read but I read The Wisteria Society of lady scoundrels what a hoot and a half guys this is potentially a five star for me um i've been sitting on it i've been thinking on it and i absolutely adored it um i love the whole pirates bit i love the banter the wittiness it was just a lot of fun to read and it was such a quick read as well i got through it so quick um another book which guys you're going to be so shocked, so surprised, so unnerved. The Doctor Who, 11 stories, 11 doctors, whatever it's called. The title's roughly that. The one that we put off for 10 years, it's been sitting in my bookshelf for 10 years. The one that we put on two other TBRs and didn't read and got it a third time and gave myself punishment so I didn't have to read it is a five star. You guys, I adored it. There's loads of writers um, that I've read a lot of their other writing and actually really enjoyed it. So it was nice that they were all kind of in the one place. I think maybe like four or five of the writers I've read of their work before. So I was, I was honestly amazed guys. I love that it was short stories like each story was only maybe like 40 pages long um and I love that the chapters were really short so each chapter was maybe only like four pages long um and I love that it was all the different doctors it was just oh it was so good and I think you should all read it because I thought it was brilliant and my opinion matters clearly <laughs> um another book that I was surprised about it wasn't a five star was Bleak House by Charles Dickens. I don't know what it is about Charles Dickens, but he is the one classic writer that 
I really just really love and I don't know if it's because I read Hard Times when I was a kid and I adored that book and um, that now on like Charles Dickens I just love everything he writes. I think I maybe give it a 3.75 for we're about there. It was a 900 page long book um, and I read it for exposition through the pages because I'm not gonna lie guys I want my team to win. Um, I always want my tea to win. Um, oh, tea break. Look at my wee pumpkin mug. How cute. Hello, pumpkin. But yeah. Um, I also read Barking Up the Right Tree, which I got from the works. It only came out in August there. Um, I gave it a 3.5, I think. 3, 3.5 for a bit there. Um, just because... It, <laughs> It really bugs, the title bugs me. The title bugs me because the title ruins the whole book. The, ti the title ruins the whole book. And that just bothers me because I'm like, it was such a good book. See if the title wasn't the title at uh, you guys. The title just ruined the book. It is a mystery, like a cosy mystery, cosy crime and the blooming title gives it away who done it. Because it's called Barking Up the Right Tree. So you know that her predictions are correct. Who? Why? Come on. <laughs> I can't cope. Um, I've read a few other books, but I can't remember them off the top of my head. So you'll just have to go to my bookstagram, happy when I'm reading and give me a follow so that you can keep up with all my reviews because that's what I do my proper reviews because uh, I'm not very good at expressing myself through talking. I'm better at writing my reviews down. So let's get on with the game. So here we are guys, first roll of seven. Oh, we've got a spell. Who's surprised? So we're going to go on to the Let's good Speak up, Billy, and we'll see. Here we go. I don't remember what this is. Let me see. So the prompt Hannibal Lecter has come up, and for Hannibal Lecter, that is a book with a body part. And um, so I'm going to be reading Love on the Brain. Um, this fits perfectly into a video I'm making and also brain. So hopefully this comes up in my spookopoly. And number two, here we go. Nice, another spell. Next prompt that has come up is Daphne du Maurier. So this is to be like a gothic kind of book. I'm not really a gothic kind of gal, but I found this in my bookshelves. It's called Shadowmancer. And I'll read you the back. It says, um, where does it say? Something in this made me think that this was gothic. Well, for, for a start, it says the biggest event in children's fiction is Harry Potter, packed full of history, folklore and smuggling. This tale of their epic battle will grip both young and old. The thrills, suspense and danger are guaranteed to grab the attention and stretch imagination to limits. So history and folklore and the, this church on the front gave me gothic signs. So this is what I'm going to read for gothic. Roll number three. Rolls, so we've done three. So we got another one. Let's go. Well, I'll just keep it on that. Oh, snake. Nice, so that just cancelled that out. Right, okay. Kill. <laughs> so we got four rolls left. No! <gasps> nice! Three rolls left. We're back to 
Sure, Spicopoli. The next prompt that we were given was mostly orange. Can't say this isn't mostly orange. Um, so this is My Sister the Vampire, Lucky Break. This is number seven in the series. Um, this is also for a video, so I'm getting all my video ones on here. That's great. Two rolls left. No. Last roll, guys. This is insane. I might add rolls just because I want more books for this book <laughs> Nice. You guys! This is insane, we never get Magical Encounter. Mm. I'm not doing it. I'm just gonna go pick more Spookopoly. So Magical Encounter is now just like all my books in there just to shuffle, but I would rather do some more Spookopoly to be honest. We never get, we never get that one counter, that's ridiculous. Last row, the board was so nice to us and we've only got four books this month. It was Mary Shelley, which is a sci-fi. I'm not a sci-fi girly and the sci-fi girly stuff that I had, I've read. Um, so I had to really stretch this one. So I had to play around with my reading for the next week or so. So luckily I said that I was gonna only, like I added two rows instead of one because I'm actually gonna move these hollow bows over from last month to this month because I Googled it and there is portals in this. They have to use portals to get to the fairy world. Um, and Becca said that the Mary Shelley one could be sci-fi, but it could be anything like portals, etc. So I had to bend about because none of my spooky books are sci-fi. None of them, none of them have portals. Like what? So this is the last book. So we've got quite a short TBR for the month of October, which I suppose is good because of Spicopoly, because of the way I'm playing Spicopoly. I'm obviously playing it um, as we go. And can you believe we got a magical encounter? What? That's insane to me. Um, so I think now I am gonna prepare my first roll for October. And I'm so excited. Um, so I'm gonna get the Spookopoly board up and get some dice. Okay, you guys, I have the board on my iPad and I've got the two six-sided dice here. So we start at the go. I'm gonna just do a dot on what we land on. Here we go. We've rolled five. I don't even know what that is. Right, so we're here. One, two, three, four, five. They're burning the witches even, burning the witches even if you aren't one. Okay, amazing, I got it sorted, I got it working. So we've now got a dot on. And I should have just guessed what this prompt was. So witches, that's the prompt. So let me have a look at my pile. I think we're gonna have to start with the League of Gentlemen Witches, um, which I'm not mad about, not mad about it. So this is our first book for the Spookopoly and it doesn't start till the 1st of October. So this is what I'm gonna start the month with and I can't wait. So get excited for all the Spookopoly content that's coming. Make sure to like this video and comment down below your favorite thing about this spooky season and subscribe to the channel and join the family if you like book content, if you like lifestyle content and so much more. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye.